Thanks for joining us today, Southern Indiana Traveler. We're at Squire Boone Caverns here in Harrison County, Southern Indiana, and it's a great place to bring the kids, family, the dogs. You know, yes, they are dog friendly, so come on out to Squire Boone Caverns and we'll tell you a little bit about it today. I'm here today at Squire Boone Caverns with Natalie and she works here and do you give tours as well? Yeah, I do a little bit of everything. I'm trained just about everywhere except for the bakery. I'm not a very good cook. Uh, but a lot of my job involves working with new tour guides as well as running the, the tour desk. So I set up the tours and get everybody ready to go on the tours and all that good stuff. Okay. Now, who comes to visit Squire Boone Caverns? We have people from all over the place. So some of the people that we have are locals. We also have a lot of school groups as well as summer camps, YMCA groups, um, church groups, all sorts of different people. Boy Scouts, we have Scout Saturdays sometimes nice. during the summer, we have Boy Scouts. But we also have individuals from all over the world really that'll visit here. Okay, now what does it cost to come and see the, see the cave? So um, during the summer, if we have someone down at the gatehouse, it's a $5 fee to get into the park. And that pays for all of their demonstrations in the village, including mm -hmm. the soap shop demonstration, the candle shop where you can dip a candle for a dollar. Mm -hmm. um, you can also see a demonstration down at the grist mill, uh, which is really cool. It's from the 1800s. Squire Boone Jr. and his family okay. built it from 1804 to 1809, and they used it to grind up corn and other things like that. Okay. Um, we also have a rock shop as well, so it's pretty interesting. We have the cave tour as well. It's about an hour long. Ticket mm -hmm. prices are $19 for adults. Children 4 to 11 are 10 50 3 and under are free. And then seniors 60 and up are $18. Um, the tour is about an hour long. There is a spiral staircase of 73 steps at the end of the tour that our, um, that our tours use to get up out of the cave. But along the way, you see some really cool things like our Rock of Ages, as well as our Rimstone Dams, which is the largest active Rimstone Dams in any commercial cave in the entire United States. Oh, oh wow. So they're pretty special. Yeah, yeah, we have them on like every poster and promotional <laughs> promotional piece of paper that we have. Oh, wow. And you also stop to talk about Squire Boone Jr. Mm -hmm. um, and a little bit about his life, as well as his burial spot down in the cave. Okay, and for people who might not know who Squire Boone is, who was Squire Boone? So Squire Boone Jr. is Daniel Boone's uh, youngest brother. Mm -hmm. He was 10 years younger than, uh, than Daniel Boone. Mm -hmm. And he actually moved his family out here in, in the early 1800s. They lived here for 11 years, which was the longest they ever stayed in one place their entire life. Mm -hmm. um, and so they played an important role in our park's history. Um, they found the cave in 1790. Uh, and then, um, again, he built that grist mill here, which made this place pretty special. Okay, great. Well, we walked today, and I was a little worried about being a little claustrophobic and stuck mm -hmm. inside the cave, <laughs> yeah. but it wasn't so bad once we got down there. So there is rushing water going underneath your feet, and the 73-foot spiral staircase was quite a climb, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun today, so we had fun here today. And uh, anything else you want to tell us about the park? I think that sums up all of the all of the big information. It's a really fun family experience for people of all ages, um, from all okay. different kinds of backgrounds, and there's Good. always something here to learn. Okay, great. Now, what if you have pets and you come to the park? Like, could someone come here with pets? And you know, I mean, you know, a lot of people travel in RVs and things like that. Where would they park their RV if they were coming into the park? So for RVs and things of that nature, we have a back um, parking area. Mm -hmm. uh, along that back row of that far end of the parking lot. That's usually where a lot of our RVs um, will go. Uh, they also have um, motorcycle parking back there as well. Okay. Um, so if we're really busy, uh, we, we might have um, some of our maintenance guys come down to help direct the flow of traffic. Um, okay. But there's accommodations for that. As well as pets, we have a pet area to keep pets in, um, but pets can go through the cave as long as they're small enough to be carried. Okay, good to know. And if they can be carried all the way throughout the cave, then they can go on the cave tour. Very nice. Of course, our, if we have any service animals or anything like that, they're free. They're, they're welcome on the tour as well. Okay. So that's happened a few Great. times. Great. So pet friendly, they have an outdoor area to keep your pets in, so if you have a dog or cat, 
I don't know if you'd want to keep your cat outside in, <laughs> yeah. the, in the cage or if you travel with your cat, but uh, since I'm a dog person, I'm kind of partial to that and biased. But either way, it was a great trip and we had lots of fun. So, uh, you know, it was good meeting you and that's it for today. Nice to meet you as nice well. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. I'm Thank glad you. you enjoyed. Yeah. Okay, today I'm here with Logan. He's with Squire Boone Caverns Zipline Adventures. And just like I'm a customer, he's gonna be telling us and telling you what to expect, uh, you know, age requirements, how much it costs, things like that. So I'll hand it over to Logan, let him tell you. So this is a, uh, the Zipline's kind of family friendly kind of thing. Pretty much almost everybody can do it. Anyone from the age of seven up to, we've had people that are 90, as old as that come in for our zip line so it's a really simple thing to do like our so we have three different courses we have our long course which is eight lines long and you have to be 13 year old and at least 110 pounds to do that one and I think the highest you'll be off the ground now is about 150 feet so you're up there mm -hmm. going over it's it's a really cool course and then we have our canopy tour which is our smaller course there's six lines on that one and you have to be at least seven years old and weigh at least 65 pounds to go on that one and then if you're just trying to get a little taste of zip lining, you've never done it before, you want to get an idea of how it is, we have our quick zip. And that is the last two lines of our canopy course. And so that just, it's fairly simple. We just teach you how to do it real quick, get you up there, and we take you through it. And then if you like it, we can always take you on a different tour or a longer one, okay. either way. And then so the prices for that is 79 per person for the long one and 59 per person for the canopy tour and 25 per person for the quick zip. And if you go on our website, you can just look up Squire Boone Cavern Zip Line and okay. our website will come up. We have specials, just different specials like throughout the week. Like mm -hmm. we have half price Tuesdays and so like everything's half price. And then we have like $5 off for one day, $10 off one day. So, and if you can, you can book online, you can reserve, do all that online. It's a lot easier. So that's pretty much a rundown of what we got going on here. Okay. Well, it was great talking with you. Thanks nice for, to meet you. Thank you for talking yeah, with no us. Yeah, no problem. My name is Angel. I am the official soap maker here at Squire Bean Caverns. I've been making soap for about 10 to 11 years. Worked here since 2004. Started here at 17 as a tour guide. Got moved to the, the soap shop. And nowadays, what I do is I make the soap for a living. And what I have in the pot here is actually lard or pig fat. You can use any sort of fat or oil to make soap. Most modern day soaps are made with vegetable oil. To that fat or oil, I'm going to add a chemical called lye. And back in pioneer times, lye would have come from ashes from the fireplace. And I take these ashes, put them in a barrel called a lye leaching barrel, and pour water into the top of the barrel. As the water ran through the ashes, it would pick up potassium, making potassium hydroxide or potash lye. And then add that to their melted down animal fat, and the pioneers would then cook and stir that mixture for up to six hours. Nowadays, we use a chemical lye. What we use is called caustic soda lye or sodium hydroxide. A whole lot easier to work with, and I only have to stir for about two and a half to three hours. When I'm done stirring, soap will get poured in one of these big tables here. Each table makes about 500 bars of soap. I let it sit in the table about three days to a week before I cut it up into bars. And the bars go on the shelves behind me. They're going to stay on their shelves for about three weeks, and then we can take them down and package them up to be sold. We sell our soaps all over the world. Uh, Universal Studios actually buys the soap here. And then the lye soap that I'm making here is good for poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, killing chiggers, taking each other most bug bites, stains in your clothing like mud, chocolate, and grass. It's also good for sensitive skin, acne, psoriasis, and eczema. Thanks for being with us today as we checked out Southern Indiana's Squire Boone Caverns here in Harrison County. We want to thank you for being with us, thank the staff here at the park, and we want to invite you to come on down in Southern Indiana and please keep in touch and watch Southern Indiana Traveler.